The two lovers were lying sleepily next to each other. And the woman was staring at the ceiling, just thinking about, here I am again. I was supposed to leave this man a long time ago. Suddenly she thought she heard a voice. It kind of spooked her a little bit. It said, you have to end this. And she got a little nervous because she knew it was just the two of them in there and he was asleep. So she laid there a little longer and I'm just imagining things. A little while later, she heard it again. This time it was a little bit louder. You have to end this. And she got up and she started trying to get out of the bed, but they were all tangled together in the covers and she was hitting them upside the head and he's stirring like, what's wrong? She said, I gotta go to the bathroom, I gotta go to the bathroom. She got into the restroom, she looked into the mirror, and all she could see was her grandmother's face telling her, you're better than this. You have to let him go. Get out of there. So she knew what she had to do. It was no mistake. This was the time she needed to let this man go. So she gathered her things. She took her scarf that she was wearing and she put it in the bed next to him so he can smell her fragrance. And she moved over to the chair and she sat. And she began to write. And he started to stir and he said, baby, are you all right? She says, I'm just having a little trouble sleeping tonight. I think I'll just sit here a while and write. Okay, he was good with that. He was used to her doing that. <laughs> and uh, she began to hum and moan because in her soul she was stirring. She just felt something and she knew that she had to get it out. And she penned the words to this song. Daybreak, I need you. To come, embrace me, I've been in this darkness way too long. Daybreak. Dare not leave now. It's too many predators in this town. Overnight, so much crime. So I'll wait until the sunshine. Daybreak, I need your daybreak. Her.